how you guys doing welcome back to my channel to our channel because it belongs to us so today we're going to be working on a 2008 Acura TL it has some misfiring problem so we're going to try to fix it today and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can keep getting videos about how to fix cars, okay? So I'm going to take advantage of the time so that way uh, you guys can get to know how to fix cars. If you have a similar vehicle to this, this is an Acura TL. So a customer brought it yesterday and he said he got misfiring problems. So I'm going to try to fix it today. Alright, so stay tuned. Man, what the heck? The car locked by itself. So if your engine is similar to this, I think this is they're all the same uh, engine. It has a V6 in it. It has a uh, let me see 3.2 liter. All right, this is the coils right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know the number exactly. I'm just letting you know where the coils are. All right, so hang on a second. So if you don't have a scanner reader, I would suggest you buy one. It's uh, I bought this one like three years ago for like $65. It's a very good tool that I use to uh, see what's wrong with cars. And uh, when you plug it into the plug under there, make sure you have the car. You don't have to start the car. So just started to where you can see the check engine light. I don't know if you can see it right there. This car has almost 200,000 miles. AC off, because we don't need the AC right now. So then we're gonna start scanning. So I found it. Says it gas. Four codes. Let's uh, read the code. Five misfiring. Three misfiring. Multiple misfiring. It's two, three, and five are misfiring. Two, three, and five misfiring. So now we know. Two, three, and five. Okay, to find out the diagram, because you don't know how they lined up, the spark plug diagram and coil packs, Google is your best friend. A lot of these people post up pictures of how the diagram is. Right now I'm seeing three different ones that actually match. You always want to compare the ones that match. This one match, that one match, and this one match. And it's the same engine that we're working on. If you guys can read, it says 2008. Focus, 3.2 liter V6 cylinder lineup. It's right there. You see it? One, two, three, four, five, and six. And remember, we're fixing two, three, and five. So that's how you know which uh, cylinders are and how they li lined up. So that's that's how I'm gonna get to it. So remember, there's a bunch of sources now that you can use to make everything real easy. So the customer's not here and he said he was gonna get the coil packs. So all I gotta do is change them for him. So I'm gonna wait for him to get here with the coil packs. Once he brings the coil packs, I'll be able to uh, replace him. I also told him to replace the spark plugs, but I guess he doesn't have any money right now. But then again, I leave it up to the customer. I never pressure the customers to buy stuff that they don't have the money for. So with that being said, we're gonna wait for him to bring the coil packs, all right? I'll see you in a bit. So for this job, you guys are gonna need a 10 mil and a long extension like this. And I forgot what size it is. This is to uh, remove the spark plug. So what I'm going to do first is uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove cylinder number five. It's right here. So 
So the diagram for this is a uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? I already showed it to you guys earlier. So I'm just gonna check the spark plugs just to make sure that they're not messed up. But I know they probably are messed up because it looks like he's never given this car service. And uh, look at this. See how rusty it is? This is no good anymore. I can just tell that it's been under for a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap out now. Go to spark plug number five and remove it. Look at that, spark plug number five is loose. So that's not a good sign. Every time you uh, remove spark plugs, they're supposed to be tight. So this is what the spark plug looks like. Uh, he got a pretty cheap spark plug in here. This is a pretty cheap spark plug. On all cars, all Japanese cars, Hondas and Toyotas, you wanna put NGK. This is out of light. This is a very cheap spark plug. So out of light is no good. So. He didn't buy spark plugs, so I'm gonna put it back on. It looks okay for now, but I wouldn't put this on my car, okay? So I'm gonna put it back on. You gotta do it by hand. Don't try to put it on by, uh, by, by the uh, ratchet, because then you're gonna force it and then you're gonna strip it. So do it by hand. That's what I'm doing right now, putting it back by hand. I don't like talking bad, bad about my customers, but this guy bought everything. All the uh, parts that we're putting back on this car, they're cheap. This value Christ spark plugs are very cheap, so don't buy those. I wouldn't buy them. So I put it back on there. Don't put too much force. You'll feel it when it stops. So this is the kind of coils he bought. He bought the value craft. This is very cheap, man. And it's not gonna last that long. So. All right. Put number five in. Plug it. Put it on. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna go ahead and change all of them till I get to the two and three. Once I once I change two and three, uh, I would uh, let you see what the car's doing. Okay, so we'll be right back. So we already changed the coils. So now I'm gonna crank the car up. To see what it does. So, looks like it's not misfiring anymore. So, I'm gonna go back to my scanner. Reading the code. So, I'm gonna erase the code. Now, if you don't have a scanner, guys, all you gotta do is remove the negative cable out of the battery and it'll reset by itself, okay? So that way you don't be like, oh, I don't have a scanner, how do I do this? And I'm gonna show you also how to uh, diagnose the uh, problem. Okay, so it's telling me to shut the car off, so I'm gonna shut it off. I'm gonna put it on the on position and then I'm gonna try to erase it again. So I erased it. There, this is gone. So now I unplug the scanner. So there it is. 
it looks like the uh, shaking went away. No more misfiring. We'll see, all right? Now, let me show you how you're gonna do this. Now, if you don't have a scanner like this, I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right. So if you don't have a scanner, right? To find out which one is the one that's not working and it's not sparking, You'll remove those 10 millimeter bolts. One, two, three. Remove them three. Right? And then what, once you remove it, you pick this up. You pick the coil up just about, I would say, a half inch. And you will hear the coil sparkling with the uh, spark plug. You'll hear like something like clack, 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 clack. If it's making that noise, that means that this coil is good. If the coil is dead, it's not making any noise whatsoever, that means that coil is bad okay that's another way to do it if you don't have a scanner but since i have a scanner i can just you know easily figure out which ones are bad so like i was saying i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'm gonna keep shooting more videos when they bring me more cars because you know i don't just work on any car you know sometimes i work on the cars that i like to work on if you want to say the easy cars the easiest car i guess say that I don't like working on, you know, some cars because they're horrible to work on. I'm pretty sure you guys can relate to. And if you guys ask me what are the best cars to buy and drive nowadays, I also stick with uh, Hondas, Acuras, Toyotas, and a few Nissans. Not all of them. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, broskies, I'm out. Peace. One love.